Fellow Jamaicans, I want us to take this hurricane threat seriously and focus on our safety and security. An ounce of preparation saves a pound of recovery. Better safe than sorry. With expected winds in excess of 120 miles per hour and significant rainfall, this is potentially a very destructive hurricane. The system has already done damage to the Eastern Caribbean and Jamaica must be prepared for its arrival. Currently, the forecast says that Hurricane Matthew will have a significant impact, especially on eastern and central parishes. The government has placed the nation on high alert. The national disaster mechanisms have all been activated. The Jamaica Constabulary Force, the Jamaica Fire Brigade, and the Jamaica Defense Force are all ready to assist where necessary. Our disaster preparedness committees have had several meetings to determine the best way to deal with this dangerous weather event. Shelters are already open and manned, and telephone numbers for parish disaster managers have been publicized. Relief supplies and heavy equipment have also already been pre-positioned across the island, especially in areas prone to flooding and landslippage. We have had the assurance by all our emergency agencies that they are mobilized and ready to respond. The media is playing its role in keeping the nation informed and the government is ensuring information is available on a timely basis. Today I traveled across the island to see for myself the levels of preparation and the work being done by government agencies, the private sector, voluntary agencies, the church, and citizens. Given our budgetary situation and our resource constraints, I am encouraged by the level of preparation and effort from what I have observed. But as always, there is still more to be done to get the nation ready. I take this opportunity to commend those in the private sector and to encourage others to come on board to join with the government in disaster preparedness and national recovery. In this time of impending disaster, if you are able to safely and in consultation with your local authorities, clear a drain or clear garbage from a waterway, do it. If you have equipment that can help to secure your community, please use them. Given the expected intensity of the hurricane, focus on securing your roofs, cutting down trees which could fall on your home, protect your glass windows and doors, make sure you have a week's supply of water, at least 10 gallons per person. Make sure you have supplies of non-perishable food items, a first aid kit, batteries, and fully charge your cell phones. Secure important documents, but above all else, follow the directions given by the Met Office and ODPEM, particularly evacuation orders. For people living on the eastern end of the island, especially in low-lying or flood-prone areas, the government encourages you to be proactive and relocate. Each and every one of us can make a difference. Look out for those in your community who are vulnerable, pregnant women, children, the disabled, the aged, and infirm. Please provide them with whatever help you can. We must each do our part to ensure they are safe. The government will do its part, but each Jamaican must exercise personal responsibility. This is important before, during, and after the hurricane. We must all work together to ensure that damage to property and loss of life is avoided. While we cannot determine the course of this potentially destructive hurricane, we can determine how we prepare and recover from it. I want it to be clearly understood by all Jamaicans that the government has placed the security forces on high alert and will do all that is necessary to maintain law and order in our communities. We will not allow this impending hurricane to create any opportunity for crime. Now is the time for the entire Jamaican family to come together in a spirit of unity, hope, and community, and once again demonstrate our resilience as a nation. This weather event is an opportunity for us to show the true Jamaican spirit that despite everything, out of many adversities, we will overcome as one people. To members of the Jamaican diaspora, 
our international partners and friends, you can contact our embassies, high commissions, and consulates around the world to get up-to-date information on the situation on the ground in Jamaica and to coordinate any relief effort. There is no doubt that this impending weather event will negatively impact our economy. However, the government is determined not to let the hurricane derail our economic programs. The strategy and focus of the government will be on speedy recovery. This means that we will be efficient and transparent in the management and allocation of all resources dedicated to the recovery process. We have done our work by preparing as best as we can. By our faith, we pray for our eternal Father to guard our land and protect us with his mighty hand. May God bless you and may God protect Jamaica.